Well, a fire which threatened homes south of Adelaide has been contained after burning for more than 24 hours. Selix Hill residents packed and ready to flee at the height of the blaze. Strong gully winds whipped up flames overnight, prompting the CFS to door knock Selix Hill homes at 2.30 this morning, telling residents to leave. You hear about fires and so forth and you don't think that it's ever going to happen to you, but it was so quick. I mean, you couldn't drive a car down the hill that quick. Just frightening, you know what I mean, to think that you're going to lose everything. Most took little convincing, with flames threatening homes near Mount Terrible and Louds Hill roads, along with other roads in the area. You chose to leave? Oh yeah, most definitely. <laughs> no heroes here. You couldn't see. It was really, really thick with smoke. Farmer Graeme Giles lost half his land. About 150 acres of burn. Others came frighteningly close to losing everything. It ended up about 100, 150 metres away. The Walsh family evacuated yesterday, this morning unpacking their car before repacking it once flames began burning out of control again around midday. The rugged and inaccessible terrain hampering firefighting efforts despite relentless aerial water bombing. The CFS believes the blaze was sparked on a nearby property by a person using an angle grinder. It says others should learn from that mistake. Now the fire season is upon us. The fire has burned nearly 300 hectares of land with a 10 kilometre radius. Justine Orvey, Nine News. A touching commemoration today for the worker killed at the new Royal Adelaide Hospital site. His workmates pausing to remember him and receiving an impassioned plea from his widow. At first light, hundreds of workers descend on the new hospital construction site for a touching tribute to a fallen colleague. Right, 54-year-old George Castillo Riffo died just over a week ago when he was crushed by a scissor lift. Today, workers place 300 carnations at the entrance to the site as a mark of respect to their mate. It's a sad day, but it's certainly a, a reminder that, guys, that uh, you never can be sure we're in a very dangerous industry and you need to take care every day. A message, too, from Mr Castillo Riffo's widow, Pam, urging his former colleagues to take care of themselves and each other. Workers at construction sites across the state have since raised $28,000 for his family, which will be matched by the builders HYLC. But the loss of their friend is still hard to accept. Pretty sombre, I must say. I think guys are just trying to get their way through to their Christmas break and have some time with their family. This shrine will remain here at the entrance to the site throughout the construction process, but there's already plans in place to create a more permanent memorial once the hospital is complete. Perhaps a tree, perhaps a, a memorial, perhaps a seat, but somewhere that family members and friends can go to reflect on George and his life. The government says it will work with the builders and the union to create a lasting memorial. Jack Becketta, Nine News.